I had uh, Walker Bueller, who at that stage was about 22, and I think he's only about 25 now. Yeah. But he was like going for rookie of the year and he was the top pitcher and all that stuff. And I was a huge fan of him. Like the Dodgers had this new pitcher and all that stuff. And he he uh, commented on one of my clips. Brilliant. What, you, what do you need? You're covered yeah, for a brilliant, month. Brilliant. So I got all nervous <laughs> to write back to the fucking 21-year-old, man. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like at this stage, I'm like a 40 year old guy. Yeah, you're it, married 40, but he's basically a hot woman. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, oh, okay. And so I wrote. <laughs> Don't like want to waste your time. I went like this. Hey, I just saw you commented on me clip, and yeah. uh, I'm a big fan of yours. And so. I go, if you ever want to come and see uh, my show, I'll get you free tickets. I've already got season tickets to see you. <laughs> and then I said something like that because it was when Bryce Harper was about to be signed somewhere yeah. else. I go. I uh, hope to see you play next year with Bryce Harbour. And then I put like a winky emoji <laughs> and I still feel like- You just, humiliated yourself. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you and know- And he what, just hit you back with a thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs up. It's oh. all he wrote back. <laughs> the, you, that's a loss. Oh, the thumbs up is the full stop of the sentence is the end of a conversation. The yeah. Thumbs up. The thumbs did you up. ever hear from him again? I think he liked another one of me posts. I, I haven't, you know. <laughs> I, I, you you know. can't go back. You know famous people, and yeah. it's like it's sometimes you push to make a friendship. You go, oh, I'll give it a go. Yeah. And then you, you yeah. don't get it back, and you're like, all right. Yeah, like I got to leave it. <laughs> yeah, I got to leave it. I got to leave it there. <laughs> yeah. uh, Ryan Reynolds DM me about one of my bets, and I was like, hey, you want to come on my podcast? Haven't heard from him. Okay, so Ryan. But, but Mint Mobile does. does um, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds hit me up. Um uh, direct messaged me yeah. many years ago. Yeah, was it about the gun control bet? Because mine was it, about mine. I think it was about gun control. <laughs> yeah, I think it's about the gun. In, incidentally, I wrote the gun control bit um, on. I had a sitcom on FX that that people liked, but no one really saw called Legit. Yeah. right. And you're a good actor, though. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Like right. you weren't. You never pushed. I um so I it wasn't like what you did with the baseball the <laughs> baseball child. <laughs> well, have you seen me? I'm in an episode of SWAT playing a a a, a, a computer hacker called Shadowbox. Like literally, one of the one of the ads on legit was like, "We had an actor drop out right now. Can you come and be a computer hacker on SWAT?" And I'm like, "Yeah, go on." <laughs> like that day. Yeah, good. Fuck it. <laughs> and I'm like, "There's a lot of me on a computer like this." Um, the mic thing's How many through. scenes? Ah, oh, two or three scenes. Okay. I I read so little of the script. I didn't know whether my character was a good guy or a bad guy. So funny. Which is uh, he probably didn't know in real life. He probably had his Should... own opinions of himself. <laughs> yeah, uh, he was probably the hero in his own story. What was I saying about legit? Like I had a sitcom. Uh, oh, you oh, had Ryan Reynolds. The gun control and the gun control. Okay, so the gun control thing was written because uh, John Ratzenberg, who played Cliff no, Claver yeah, on Cliff. Cheers. Yep. He was a dad in the sitcom. I was, and he, he really is like Cliff Clavin. Does anybody know anything about plumbing? Well, uh, the Romans had an elaborate system of aqueducts there, Sammy. <laughs> Great guy. Yeah. Real fun, hang. Loads of good Hollywood stories. Yeah. Right? And I'm standing next to him when Sandy Hook happens. And I literally have Cliff Clavin turn to me, like in that moment, and just go, eh, none of this would have happened if those teachers had guns. When will these liberals learn? <laughs> right. And I went, and as an Australian, you know, with my little socialist heart, and I just yeah. sort of turned, I just went, you fucking, I argued with him for two or three days. And at the end of it, the whole thing was, that was the whole routine was ready to go. I didn't have to run it or anything. It was just shit you had said to him. It basically. was arguments to Cliff Graven. Yeah. God damn it. Right. So that, that's why they're all just little tiny rational thoughts throughout that yeah. routine. They're not really statistic based. They're just sort of, but wouldn't this happen if this happened? And this, like, you know, the, I mean? one of my favorite punchlines of it is uh, none of you give a shit about the home security. None of you go to home security conventions. None of you read Padlock Monthly. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, that's funny. So, so, uh, uh, so Ryan Reynolds, he writes to me and then he invites me to see a premiere of some movie that just in a bar type of thing and i meet him and he's super nice and we chat a bit and that's one of the things where i think oh yeah maybe me and ryan Re yeah. if I, like if i was more charming i'd own a third of wrexham right now but, <laughs> <laughs> but I, so what happened was so brad pitt paid me weatherman sure thing jim on the jim jeffrey show when he stopped being my weatherman they literally the show was like this who else can you get to be the weather person luckily like 
Seth Rogen did it for yeah. one, one other episode. That's right, Jim. But I was like, ah, I kind of know Ryan Reynolds. Right. <laughs> I was like, so I wrote to him and he's like, yeah, I'll do it. And then I kept on, I think I pushed a little bit too much. And then I was like, I think the last tech message was like this. I'll take your wife. I don't even need you. I'll have a weather lady. I'm running out of options here. <laughs> the yeah. show's about to be cancelled. I need I need something, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and did she do it? No, no. I I don't think I don't think Ryan Reynolds follows me anymore. Nor have I been invited to a Wrexham game. So I, I pushed too hard. It's a tough one. Yeah, I could have. But then you know, uh, what were we going to do? Hang out? I don't know. Yeah. I, it, at a certain, what do you think's the age of no return on friendships? It gets difficult after thirty, but yeah. it gets really difficult after four. You can still move country at thirty. You can yeah. you can move to another country and meet some people and that type of stuff. You'll have to get some people who, you know, the easiest people to make friends with are the childless. Childless people you can make friends with very yeah, easily. Yeah, they got nothing going on. They, they're up for lunch. Yeah, fuck. And you want to hang, you want to take a walk after? <laughs> like, <laughs> there's a lot of time. But, but the child folk, yeah. they're, uh, oh, no, you can't... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. I, I and I agree with them. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've got a, when you have a baby, that's you for friends until that child's like seven. Yeah, yeah that's you. You can't get you go, but no. I have a two year old at the home at the moment, and I have some people that are like, "Hey, can we get dinner sometime?" I'm like, "No, I've got, I've got going to work and this kid." You know what I mean? Yeah. You get like twelve date nights a year, and me and my wife use them on each other. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, like, like to make sure our marriage yeah, is like, good. Hey, are we still stuff. married? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we renew this? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know why we started talking about um, Ryan so, Reynolds, but we're, we're, oh, the gun control bit. Gun, yes. gun control. And that, yeah. That's uh, you were going to be friends with Ryan Reynolds. What happened to you? Why did you not get uh, be friends with him? You just I DM'd invited him, him on back. here. Oh, you invite him on here. Yeah. Which is like, I don't know. You That's, follow me, you clearly, and like Letterman did it, and Le like, you know, big, these, every pretty much most big Seinfeld's going to do it. Like, I don't know. It doesn't seem out of the question. No, it doesn't seem out of the question. And then, and then sometimes people will surprise you and they'll, they'll do yeah. more than you think they're going to do. Yeah. It's, it's like, like Brad was my weatherman. I thought that would be a big enough calling card that I could get someone else. To yeah. Do. Somebody up now. <laughs> No, I know it is a one-off. <laughs> I'm ma I'm mates with Russell Crowe, and uh, Crowe was like he had a very he said he'd do it, but he had a very exact view on what type of weatherman he wanted to be. <laughs> a little too not he was being well, an actor. It never, worked, an it never worked out. Never worked out in our schedules, but he, he was going to do it. Yep. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.